So it's the Florence Nightingale Chase next, and this is four miles and three furlongs this time. It's a Grade 3 event, and the top one is Archaleo OB1. Double first, Kevin Meenahan, Great Mac, Graham Clitterbuck, Grip It and Tip It, Derek Hinton, Line in the Sand, Jamie Hopkins, Muscle Hill, Carla Agansay, Newsflash, Stu Gray, 180, Molly at Surfer, Surf, Leon Van Rinsburg, Shameless Days, Darren Thompson, Ick here, Alex Cherry, Fast Last, David Robertson, Ikea Q, Paul Rhodes, Mallorca, Thunderspark, Northern Shore, Jim Murray, Smarts, Castle Ghost, Zapper, Third Prophet, Joshua Sutherland, Whitney James, Follis and Wild Coco, Doug Warren. Off they go then. And towards the first in this particularly long race, four miles and three furlongs, and this is the first fence, and over it they go, and they're all safely over to the other side. 23 to take in all then, so 22 more to take, and this is probably the second longest race of the season, isn't it? With Smart Castle on the outside in the pale blue, disputing the lead with the grey horse in the green jacket, Mallorca. So they're the front two then with Great Mac and Wild Coco just behind. Oh, we've lost one there, there's a four already, and that's Mallorca gone. So Mallorca is out of the race at the second and Smart Castle is now joined by Wild Coco. So they're the leading two then. Smart Castle and Wild Coco with Great Mac in third and then Archaleo and Line in the Sand as they on the lead at that time. Went right through the top of it and lost a couple of lengths in the air and the jumping not been too good so far then. That's what these horses are all about. There's always some Grand National horses in here. And Wild Coco. Got to be careful in this race, of course. Though, it's a grade three, and if you win it, you get a whopping great handicap mark. As I found out to my disappointment last season when Miles won this race comfortably and they've actually got weighted out of all the races for the rest of the season. So if you've not got a genuine group horse, beware. But, and there aren't many group races for this distance so you're if you win this you're probably not going to run again until the back end of the season it's a risk that you take running here uh, one of them's going to win it though and it's wild coco and smarts castle who dispute the lead at the moment with arcaleo in third as so i take this ditch and all over that one safely with shameless days just the back marker uh, the jumping's a little bit more settled than it would seem and smarts castle's got himself Back into the lead with Wild Coco in second place. And Archaleo is in third. Double first is fourth, and then third profit and Northern Shore. Line in the sand is after that one. And then comes Great Mac and Muscle Hill. Surf and 180. Grip it and tip it is after that one. As they come to number six. Oh, what a crashing fall at the back there for Shameless Daisy. Virtually went straight through the fence. And that one is out of the race as well now. So, two out then. Still an awful long way to go. Well over three miles still to race. And Smart's Castle is a couple of lengths clear. And Wild Coco from the much improved Doug Warren National Hunt Yard over the last couple of seasons. He broke his National Hunt Duck last season and he's been going. Well, so far this year, close a couple of times. I don't think he's quite had a winner yet, though. And they take the seventh, and another one's gone this time. It's Archaleo. Oh, Archaleo with a fall this time. And Smart's Castle continues to show the way to Wild Coco. Double first has moved into third. Ikea Q is on the outside in fourth. Curiously named horse of Paul Rhodes is that one. Maybe he likes to go to Ikea and queue up on him as they come to the eighth. And that time it was the Graham Clutterbuck horse that didn't jump it very well. Great Mac. Jockey over the horse's ears, but it's Smart's Castle. That's the leader from Double First and Wild Coco as they come towards the night. This is another ditch. And they're all over that one okay, including the 30-year-old News Flash. He's own little fan club. He's like the most sort of celebrity horse we've got in the league since last Ben I think and it's Smart Castle who is the leader from Wild Coco in second double first is third and then line in the sand fourth Ikea Q is after that one then Northern Shore and Great Mac and then Surf News Flash is after that as they take the next that's number 10 and Whitney is just the back marker still plenty of time to get back into this and Smart Castle by a length to Double First and Wild Coco. Line in the Sand is third. Ikea Q is after that one. 
and then Northern Shore and Great Mac and then News Flash and Surf as they take the 11th all over that one okay one or two slower jumps but they're all jumping it okay Whitney and Eck here are just a couple of lengths off the remainder but they're still plenty close enough at this stage of the race with Smart Castle half a length up on double first Wild Coco just tucked in nicely behind them in third as they take number 12 and something else has gone there it's Muscle Hill's gone this time so Muscle Hill's the fourth one out and Smart's Castle continues to lead as they caught this straight Wild Coco back in second and double first in third then Grey Mac and line in the sand over that one they go Ike Q on the outside jumps it okay and towards the back Eki and Whitney both jumped it nicely as they race down this home straight then now there's the stand of the assembled throng waving on their charges as they come past them and past the winning post with another circuit of this Punchestown track to go and Smart's Castle is ahead clear of Wild Coco in second Got double first on his outside line in the sand is creeping closer in fourth then comes Great Mac and Northern Shore Ikea Q is after that one and then Surf and 180 and then third Profit and Grip It and Tip It as they take the 14th and another one on the floor and that Surf gone this time so if these are potential Grand National horses they're going to have to do some schooling over the next few weeks I think because that's five of them gone there and Wild Coco has put his head in front as they take the 15th so from there that one including the back three Whitney News Flash and Eck here but it's Smart Castle Wild Coco and Double First virtually three in a line line of the sand is fourth Great Mac is fifth and Northern Shore is six Ikea Q is seven then comes third Profit and Grip It and Tip It and Fast Last little bit of a gap then to 180 and then a bigger gap to Whitney and another gap to Eck here and News Flash but these three up front difficult to split at the moment Smart Castle on the inside Double first on the outside. Wild Coco between the two. They jump it together. Line in the iron. Grip it and tip it's gone there. Grip it and tip it. The latest one to depart. And double first is now the leader. By half a length. Two smarts castle in second. Wild Coco still going nicely in third. Line in the sand is fourth. Northern Shore is fifth. Then Great Mac and Ikea Q. And third profit and fast last. I think he's between these. They've got a mile and a quarter still to race. Plenty of jumping still to do though. And Smart's Castle on the inside of Double First. Double First just in front as they come to this one. But Smart's Castle came out of it into the lead, jumped it better. 180 is starting to struggle and News Flash, I think, is dropping right out the back. But it's Smart's Castle and Doubles First from Wild Coco. Then Northern Shore has now moved into fourth. Great Max still cruising nicely on the inside. The line of the sand isn't out of it either. Neither is IKEA Q or Third Profit. And Fast Lass is still there as well as they take the 18th. See them all over that. The stragglers. There goes News Flash. But it's Smart Castle in the lead from Double First. Wild Coco just dropping off a little bit now in third. Northern Shore is there in four as they come towards the 19th fence. And over that one they go. All over it, okay. Slow jump by 180, but I think he's out of it. There's News Flash going by, and it's Smart Castle in the lead by a length and a half. Two double first in second. Wild Coco now beginning to drop away. Great Mac moves into third. Then on the inside, Northern Shore and IKQ line in the sand has also dropped out pretty tamely. Third Profit and Fast Last trying to get into it, but this is the 20th fence. And over that one, Smart Castle landed in the lead from Great Mac, who's gone second. Double first has gone third. Then Northern Shore is fourth. Here comes IKQ on the outside. Wild Coco beaten third profit is trying to run on so too is fast last forget the rest it's smart castle coming down towards the third from home smart castle's in the lead he's being chased by ikea q and great man but smart castle's been up there most of the time he's still a couple of lengths clear of ikea q and great mac northern shore is back in fourth then comes fast last and third profit double first He's dropping away now as well, but it's Smart Castle in the lead. Smart Castle's in the lead from Ikea Q and Great Mac. They've got two to jump. Smart Castle comes to the second last, jumps it quickly. Ikea Q is second. Northern Shore's running on in third. It's between these three, I think, now as they come down towards the next. They've got two furlongs to go. And it's Smart Castle in the lead. One more fence to jump. Smart Castle, Ikea Q, Northern Shore. Smart Castle comes to the last. He's still got a three-length advantage. He comes up to it. He jumps it nicely. A good jump 
up on the outside though by Northern Shore and Northern Shore starting to eat up the ground. It's Smart Castle from Northern Shore. Smart Castle by length. Northern Shore is beginning to close. Pikey and Key back in third. Well inside the final furlong. Smart Castle. Northern Shore getting closer. It's still Smart Castle. Northern Shore. One last lunge on the outside. Smart Castle. Northern Shore is getting closer. At the line it's going to be mighty close. Northern Shore. Smart Castle. That's close. And in third was Ikea Clue. Well, oh, goodness. Was mighty close. Northern Shore was gaining with every stride, but Smart Castle led all the way. Where is the winning post? Oh, that looks like Northern Shore's won. That'll be heartbreaking for John Morgan if that's the case. And let's wait and see. It's a short head victory for Jim Murray's Northern Shore. And what a brave win, but Smart Castle for Ghost Zapper. He'll be absolutely gutted, I would think, because that's been in the lead pretty much all the way and has just been done on the line. Ikea Q for Paul Rhodes, third. Fast Lasso David Robertson was fourth. And double first for Kevin Meenahan, stuck on to be fifth.